Hello, NFG. Welcome, everybody. This is the first episode of Risky Business. What will we be talking about? Quite simple, really. We will be talking about DAOs, D A O, Decentralized Autonomous Organization. A DAO is essentially a sort of crowdfunding campaign where everyone who owns the token can participate into the project and has a sort of shareholder power where they can influence the voting and project the future of the project. Now, one thing about DAOs is that they're basically everywhere and you just have to choose what a blockchain you really want to be on because there's Avalanche, BSC, ETH, all these have their own little DAOs. And each one of these DAOs, they have their own project. And this project is developed in their white paper and where you should really look into how every single one of these wants to go in the long run. This is not really a short term kind of thing. This is a buy and hold mechanism. It explains that in the white paper, that if everyone buys and holds the token, everyone will be generating a lot more, a lot faster. And if everyone just sells, then the value of the coin will obviously dump and people will panic. This is where the diamond hands really will shine. But you also have to be very cautious about this. For instance, this DAO, which is Wonderland Time, it started out very low at, in early September of last year and skyrocketed to near $10,000. In the past few months, it's gone down a very large percentage, about 75% from where it from its peak. So you really have to be careful. And if you are really mooning, do consider about taking out your profit and not being in that risk of going under or possibly even buying high and selling low. Try to avoid that at all costs. One interesting mechanic of this is the fact that even on a downtrend, you can be making profit. The very high APYs of all these DAOs. These over a five day rate will give you 9.6% of your initial investment that you put in five days ago just by staking it. Or what you can do is mint. By minting or in other blockchains, it's called bonding, you would buy the token, you would get it at a reduced rate. For instance, if you get wrapped ETH, you'll get it at a 8.2% discount instead of the normal price. If you wanted to buy a full time with wrapped ETH, you would not be paying 2.3 thousand, you'd be buying 2.1 thousand. The thing with minting is, is that you do not get the coin instantly. You have to wait five days to receive the full amount that you put in with the extra ROI that you got. Now, here's the thing. It will pay it out to you on a constant basis as a sort of drip feed system where it pays you out throughout the day. And I would personally not recommend claiming it every single time you see a bit in your balance. I would say claim it maybe once a day so it can be compounding in your staking. So once a day you would come in here, or if you like twice a day, depending on what blockchain and the fees of that blockchain, if it's worth to take it out and put it into your staking balance. The normal method of you getting started would be to mint, then as you're getting your coin back, you would immediately put it into stake. Some of the blockchains already do that automatically, where you would auto claim and it would put it into here and you would see how much you get, how it's compounding. Wonderland Time is in the Avalanche network. Now, if you want to actually get started in this, you would have to transfer your money from BSC or whatever network you're currently in using a platform such as AnySwap. Now to get your money from BSC to Avalanche to whatever other network, you can use AnySwap. AnySwap lets you do that quite simply by allowing you to transfer the funds that you have in one blockchain into the other blockchain. So in this example, we're gonna put DAI from BSC to Avalanche. And so there's a gas fee of 0.9 DAI. So it would say if you had 100, you would be receiving 90 cents less, which is a great fee. It's not a lot and it does not cost a lot. Now you do have to pay attention in other blockchains and what coin it is because some of them will raise that fee quite a lot. Do your own research on whatever DAO you want to join in and how to get to it and what would be the most cost effective method of doing so. Whoop, okay, hi. Little thing I noticed when I was editing this video is I forgot to mention, if you guys have any questions in the procedure of this, feel free to ask us in the Discord. We are always available to help you guys out. This is what we're here for. We try to help you guys get involved in this community, into this world. It's quite confusing and it can be sometimes scary. So any questions out there, we got you guys. All right, back to the video. And when you are choosing your own doubt, do your own research specifically on the history and on what you think the future of that project is going to be by going through their white paper. Because any there's because there's multiple DAOs popping up every single day, you need to know which one you want to be a part of. So by doing that, you should read the white paper, see what the future is or what the plan is, and see where if you hold the token, where you can influence it with voting and how you can 
help, let's say, shape the future of said project. Now, I would really recommend looking into ones with future util utility because if you do not, then the token will just naturally go down because everyone's just selling off their profits on a constant basis. Unless it does have utility, then people would continue buying the coin. So as when you choose your own DAOs, you really have to look into what network you're comfortable with and how much it will cost to join each one of these, essentially, by the fees and whatnot of transferring everything. Now, what's the risk? The risk of a DAO is it not having enough utility and people just saw selling off. Instead of holding the token and just continuing on their growth, people would just tend to sell it off and you would just continue to lose money unless the APY is insanely high and it can counteract that. And that has happened to me in the past. For instance, in time, I bought in really high and it was starting to go down. And as usual, people would worry. So I looked at the balance and I saw that the amount of time that it's been producing me was more than it was going down. So I just kept on holding and it kept on making more profit until I thought that I should sell it off because it was at a high profit and it was continuing on a downtrend. You will have to decide when you want to keep your stuff and when to sell it. In that case, it was a good idea to sell at the, at the time it went back up because it continued to go back down. Another risk besides the value of the token constantly going down would be rug pulls. And yes, they are out there. For instance, I joined four DAOs and one of them tanked completely. They went into their treasury and liquidated everything. It happens, it sucks, you can't do anything about it really. So you just have to be cautious of what you join in and you have to make sure that has strong foundation of what the future is and the current team and to make sure that you feel comfortable with what you're doing. Do not put in more than what you, you can afford to lose, which a lot of us tend to just not listen to that, but it's extremely important when you're doing these sorts of things. Yes, some of these can moon and you'll be like, oh, I should have put in more. But then again, think about what if it rug pulls. You have to be very cautious out there. Now, what did we learn? That DAOs can be extremely profitable because of their ridiculously high APYs, but you have to be careful because that token is very likely to start going down when people realize people are selling. So you have to pay a lot of attention to the market when you do this. Another thing to pay attention is, is the project. Look into the white paper, guys. Do your own research. It's very important. Because if you do not and just go all willy-nilly into these DAOs, it's very likely you're just going to lose money because things will just go deflationary and you'll end up just losing a lot over time. It's not worth it. So in the end, your friends will be asking, how much you making? Haha, <laughs> puns. And as always, this is all risky business and have a great day.